Hi dear angels, this is Arshna of Advanced Soul Resonance welcoming each one of you to my channel with all my love and all my heart. Thank you so much for all your love and support. Today I'm bringing forth a reading for us for the month of October. I'm going to look at our spiritual emotional health. I'll also look at what's coming forth in our area of career and finances. And finally, I will look at what's coming forth in our area of romance and love. So let's dive straight in. It's coming forth for us for the month of October. I'm using this deck for the first time. What's coming forth for us for the month of October? Clearing Archangel Michael. Clearing Archangel Michael. I'm feeling a lot of clearing in the heart. I'm feeling a lot of third eye activation and opening of the heart chakra. And we got color healing by Melchizedek. Look at this. To me, this is all your chakra healing and chakra cleansing. I'm going to pull one more. One more message, dear angels, for the month of October that will help and heal the collective. Heaven and Earth, Archangel Metatron. Beautiful. Let's look at the general energies first for what's coming forth for our spiritual health, mental and emotional health. What can we expect in the month of October? This card has been coming consistently for the past two or three months. It is time for people to be speaking their truth and remembering our ability to manifest our dreams and desires. Not speaking our truth is that card of that deceit, holding back from holding your heart back and not speaking your heart's truth. You're deceiving yourself. You're deceiving others. You're not being true and authentic to who you are. So the spirit guidance right now is that there's a lot of clearing that's taking place at this time helping you to remember who you are which is you are this magician you hold that wisdom within you you are bringing the different elements in balance that's coming forth in the month of october what is the soul lesson that we are integrating at this time dear angels in the month of october what is the collective integrating worry i'm learning that worry doesn't change an outcome worrying so there is a lot of clearing in our third eye chakra because there's a lot of purple in there third eye is the area between your eyebrows it helps us to see things clearly to see a higher perspective to see a higher plan greater plan than what meets the physical eyes what meets the physical eyes when we are in the energy of worry we're taking away from the present moment so the guidance is to stay present, surrender to the flow, and all will work out. I'm feeling called for another message. What will bring us greater mental and emotional health in the month of October? What is it that the collective needs to integrate and learn, dear spirit? Friendship, and this came in my reading for the Twin Flames too. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. So it is time to appreciate our friends. Truly, no, there's no such thing as an accident. Everything happens for a reason. They have come in, it could be lifting your spirits, you just have someone to talk to. Appreciate. I feel October is this time to appreciate the people 
who are there in your life and speak your heart because it's right below the card of deceit. Speak your heart's truth, my dears. Speak your truth. And it's going to bring in greater spiritual awareness and greater spiritual health. What's coming forth in the month of October, angels? To help us be spiritually strong, emotionally strong, and mentally strong. Akash, you are a spiritual teacher. You have the ability to counsel others and help them awaken their own spiritual gifts and divine life mission. So this is definitely message for all, not just a few. There are people who are on an actual path of healing others and serving as a guiding light. That is their life mission. But your life mission, whoever is tuning in, just because you are not on that path where that is what you're devoted to does not mean you're not a divine teacher. You have divine gifts. <clears throat> and I'm feeling a lot of blockage in my throat. I don't generally get that. So I definitely feel it is time to speak our truth in the month of October. If we have been thinking, dilly-dallying, pushing it to the background, there's a lot of clearing. Definitely. I'm looking at Archangel Michaels. This this particular card and it's absolutely drawing this attention to the third eye and all these are the purple colors all these are purple colors we we are to function and operate out of higher learning let go of what's happened release it people places old relationships jobs people did this said this they hurt us we gave our all we gave our love yet it was not reciprocated let it go let it go this is a time there's a deep clearing that's taking place for us there's a deep rainbow bridge that's coming in to clear out that old dark gray energy so we may rise as the beautiful souls that we are thank you what a gorgeous message i'll take some tarot messages for what the collective needs to know for the emotional and spiritual and mental well-being Okay, thank you. Happiness, this is here in the cards for you. Creating a complete happiness, emotional fulfillment. And an emotional fulfillment is going to come when we speak our truth, we share our feelings, we share our heart's truth with others, we share our gifts. To me, this is feeling like a card of sharing and you see their arms the masculine and the feminine their arms are open they're receiving they're receiving abundance they're receiving friends they're receiving love because they have love abundance within their hearts within their hearts this is a card of loving connections coming to you in the month of october it is time to bring that in balance Interestingly, the month of October is 10. Do you see the card number on this? Number 10. Utter fulfillment is in the cards for you. Let go of any worries. Open your arms like this magician. Allow that energy. It's time to let go of this conflict. It was good. It served for a while. The competition, healthy competition is good. But it is time to let go of dissension energies. It is time to let go of petty fights, of being always right. It is time to take a higher perspective. It is time to see what's best for all, not just for me. It's going to bring in that deep happiness that you're looking at, speaking the truth. So what's going to really bring in a, a, a happiness in, in this month of October is not really juggling just your career, finances, material, all of all the physical aspects only, but also the emotions. Creating a healthy boundary and healthy balance between the emotions and the mental thought patterns. So what happens when we are living in the energy of worry is we actually create a dissonance and we are actually creating these tidal waves. You see these waves look so they're like kind of pretty harsh right so uh, uh, and this person's juggling is not able to maintain the balance sometimes this is up sometimes this is up sometimes this is there's a seesaw going on and we're, we're creating that energy and it's creating that vortex right there so 
let go. Let go of what has to yet come and stay in the present moment. Beautiful messages. This is what's going to bring forth great emotional fulfillment, spiritual fulfillment and mental fulfillment in the month of October. So let's look at what's coming forth in our careers and finances for the month of October. What can we expect in the month of October? Anxiety. Letting go of that anxiety. There's healing that's taking place. We had worry in our spiritual and we are worried about how am I going to make that happen? Am I going to get that promotion? Am I going to be able to launch my work that I've put in all that effort? How am I going to be able to do that spirit? And the, and the message that's coming right next to that when we started our reading was let go of the worry and allow for your ability to come through and allow for the guiding light that's coming in through the spirit because there's a deep spiritual connection that's portal that's opening up for us to manifest our dreams and desires and look what is the card that came in we had the card number 10 which is one and zero one is about your own individual self and zero is about all potentialities so you create your own reality is what the number 10 says and we have the card number one right here all about emotional fulfillment abundance happiness right here anything that you were worried about it is time to let go of this cycle's coming to an end 18 leads to a nine it's about ending allow that old cycle to end october is the month where i am feeling that there is a tremendous growth opportunities and you can expect a uh, financial gains that's what i'm feeling right here I want to pull out from the angels of abundance on how we can create abundance in the month of October. How can we create abundance in the month of October, dear angels? Unlimited ideas, another, another purple. Please allow yourself to connect in nature. So this is your mind is one with the God's infinite mind. Therefore, you have complete access to the unlimited ideas guaranteed to bring blessings. All you need to do is take divinely guided action to allow these ideas to come to fruition. So what's going to happen and what's going to help you in manifest this abundance and this rebirth in your finances and money that you've been worried about and old cycles coming to an end work from your heart chakra let go of the worries because it opens up our third eye chakra third eye is a center for imagination so a couple of things that are coming forth for you is try to connect with the element of water if there is a lake um, an ocean something and if you have none of those available uh, like i say okay take a shower allow like movement of water to come in it could be movement of water it could be even a bathtub it's connecting in water is going to bring in a lot of emotional fulfillment and you release the toxicity through the element of water and it allows for you to be flexible that's one and second is spending time in nature like i'm doing a recording outside i'm, I'm drawing in the infinite energy the chi energy that already exists within the universe and in nature and as you sp spend a little bit more time in nature your worry and you know your entire energy body gets a detox when it gets a detox and you're re-energized you get greater ideas you get a newer ideas that's what I'm feeling and the new ideas you may be worried about something there's a roadblock that you're feeling in your finances you may just suddenly get an insight and you say you know what I think I want to try this I I'm gonna give it a try and trust that if it comes from the heart and it makes you excited makes you passionate follow it follow it follow it and how can we magnetize greater money and greater prosperity and greater abundance in our life motivation is a card that came out for us and this becomes the mantra for the month of October and I will read it it says here I am motivated and motivated people help me to improve my finances so be around uplifting people do not spend your energy where others are talking small stuff and talking about he said he said she said I did he did my life sucks this happens so don't don't 
toxicize, if that's a word, your energy field. Don't. Stay positive. Stay around positive people. They are going to be so charged. If you're around supercharged person, they're going to charge you up. It's simple. And that gives you that motivation, that drive like, yeah, go for it. If that's the idea that's coming to you, go for it. Dear angels, how can we um, create abundance and prosperity in our life in the month of October? What can we expect? What's coming forth for us? Beautiful, beautiful energies. 18 seemed to be a number. I don't give numbers, but there may be something um, that takes place with a full moon um, in the month of October. So you're going to get, you know, we we're talking about unlimited ideas. Connect with the moon cycle. Check um, uh, on Google when the um, full moon is and the new moon is. When the new moon is there, I would highly recommend because new moon is all completely dark sky. So you're planting new seeds. That would be a wonderful time in the darkness. You light a candle, you cleanse your heart and you connect with the nature, you connect within your own souls, do a little bit of meditation, whatever calls to you, journal, write, it would be a wonderful time to plant seeds. And I don't mean the actual seeds in the physical earth, but it is your seeds of desires and how you wish to see a new reality. Don't worry about, don't think small, I want you to think big, one and zero. And I call the month of October as raise your vibration month. This is the time to raise your vibration. You are the individual self. You can create anything that you desire because one is right next to the number of infinite potential and infinite possibilities. Anything and everything is given to you. You have that ability and the universe is giving you that especially so in the month of October. There is, there may be people that you'll be connecting with. You'll reminisce into the past, things that went right or things that didn't go right. You'll probably, there'll be, there'll be some reflection back in the time of October. So this is what I'm feeling. This is what I would recommend. So if you're sitting back in reflection and you're looking back and saying, okay, you know what? These are the things that didn't work right for me. I did this in my workplace. It didn't work out. Now I want to make a change. A situation can only change when I make a change, when I make a decision, when I do something about it. Otherwise, everything is stagnated and energy should constantly be moving. You don't want to stagnate any energy anywhere. So when those things come up of the past and you're doing a reflection, be easy, be gentle to yourself, be gentle to others, forgive them. They taught you a lesson. You learn a lesson and say, okay, thank you very much. I have learned this. Time for me to move on to greener pastures and calmer waters. Also, I'm feeling that there may be some connections from the past that will come up and it will come up for emotional healing and they will help you in some way. I'm feeling for some people for sure, there'll be some people that you've known in the past and it's just boom, gonna come out of nowhere. You're gonna have a connection and that's going to help you with your finances or careers. That's coming up. Important psychic gifts are opening up for you guys in the month of October. You're going to get some insights on how to move forward. If you're feeling at a stalemate, you don't know which direction to go. Should I take this job? Should I quit it? Should I do this? Should I do that? You're going to get some deep insights. Connect in nature. There's going to be absolute. I just said that there's going to be, there's going to be, I'm so glad I'm seeing a fire energy. I love the fire energy. Fire energy is passion. Fire energy is movement. Fire energy gets you to do stuff. Motivated motivated people be around motivated people stay motivated stay passionate stay in that fire energy there's going to be some new inspired ways new something new is coming up it could be something new from the old connection it could be something when you're connecting with the moon cycle you are getting some deep psychic insight and you're going to arise out of that emotional um stagnancy and you're going to rise into the sun i feel some of you are definitely going to get some sort of a promotion i i <laughs> I'm feeling that you're gonna shine people are gonna know who you are for sure I'm feeling that for career I feel like one more message dear angels for the month of October oh you give me three okay I'll take them I'll take them all releasing card number 13 the old must go 
the old must go there's some old ways of doing things could be an old job could be an old way of thinking in a job something has to completely shift there has to be that rebirth that takes place that's what this is about this is an ending of a phase i did say that card number 18 anxiety it's an ending all that anxious energy has to let go please start afresh October is the month to start afresh. Just the way we start making things in the month of January, we've got an amazing quarter. October, November, December. October, you see who you are, where you've been, where you want to go. Work the magic of the number zero. Thank you. Thank you. I'm getting the message. And 11 is going to be deep in it spiritual insights and i'll come to november when i'm doing the november reading i want you to focus completely on yourself who you are where you've been do a d definitely do a career check spiritual check health check your own see where you're at see where you're at do a strategic roadmap in this case there is definitely time for a massive transformation that's taking place. There is going to be abundance. I feel the abundance in the month of October. Oh, another sun card. Okay, come on. Come on. Come on now. I'm, I love it, uh, Spirit. I asked for my, one message, but you gave me massive messages. So this is the sun card. From this one also, we have the sun. So you are definitely, there is going to be windfall of abundance. Is going to be also through your own focus unexpected money for sure but i also feel through focused attention and intention you're going to start to see new ways of making money something that you're not seen before definitely definitely more money coming in definitely better careers better career options you're rising up you're rising and shining up you have the card of the magician to me that was the card of the magician where i showed you for the spiritual health you are ready you have the resources and the ability to manifest them life is magical happy outcome brilliant new ideas that lead to success have confidence in yourself confidence 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 is the key amazing messages for the month of career and finances uh, amazing uh, whoo that was amazing Let's look at what's coming forth in the month of October for true love, love and romance, anyone seeking divine counterpart, twin flames, or just, you know, romance in general. Can we see the energies coming forth in the month of October for all those who are tuning in? We got the thinking woman. She seems to be coming out and end of hostilities. Um, I don't know why I had a feeling this card would come up. It doesn't seem to be escaping us. So I feel like this is a lesson that each one of us is learning here. So I feel like um, there's going to be a lot of heart chakra opening. And there is going to be deep spiritual connection. And you are going to be guided. You're going to be guided. And you're following the path of the heart. And you're leading with that. And with that, it opens up. It opens up when you when you're opening up the heart and leading that way when you're opening a certain door to abundance let's say to financial abundance to emotional abundance and when you're opening that door the love and the romance come straight in okay there's you'll be connecting with someone there's going to be a spiritual connection is what I'm feeling so it is time I do feel like um, I am sorry but I am going to have to say this for some people you do have people who are very negative around you and they don't want to see you succeed they don't they may come across as people that they have the highest intentions for you but take a higher road you may need to put up your sword of truth Okay, you see that sword of truth? He's holding the sword of truth. That is your throat chakra. So be gentle though. Even though if people are negative, you don't have to lower your vibration. Remember, 11 will come up as uh, the number 10 is about raise your vibration. That's the title that I give that month is raise your vibration. So raise your vibration, speak your truth, speak your heart's truth, but with soft, gentle words. Our words create our reality. You do not lower your vibration just because someone else is on that lower vibration. Let them be. They're on that journey. That's their soul journey. In fact, send them love energy, send them healing energy that they may open their hearts, that the spirit may guide them and that you staying in your high vibe is actually going to bring about a shift in other people. So you do need to speak your truth. If you haven't spoken your truth in places, it could be in love. It could be even though it's come in the love. But I but, you know, it, it spills one area spills into the other. 
spiritual, mental, emotional, relationships, people, places, work, all of it encompasses in that. Speaking your truth is going to open up. I feel like a spiritual connection is coming up. I feel that in the month of October. Let's see uh, terror messages, please, for what's coming forth for people, for true love and love and romance. Dreams coming true. Dreams coming true. That's a part of wish fulfillment. If you have been wishing for something, wishing for a relationship, wishing for more loving partnerships, a divine love, divine counterpart, soulmate, your wishes are coming true. Because this was the message for love and relationships. You're creating heaven on earth right now. The portal is open. One and zero. You create your reality choose something from the plethora of options that are there you created create your own universe and this is coming your dreams are manifesting in the area of love but allow that there is a rebuilding of the heart that's taking place i want to point to this there is color healing that's taking place meaning old cycles have to come to an end so don't expect something huge or expect something just allow for things to unfold as they are unfolding don't push if something has to be pushed and you're really pushing for something and you are pushing really hard um it, it's going to take longer to manifest things manifest when we relinquish control when we relinquish control i'm feeling like a couple of more cards from psychic tarot for love and romance thank you I'll take one more. Don't know what that is. Crown chakra activations. We've been talking about crown chakra. So a spiritual connection is coming your way. I don't need a fourth card. A spiritual connection is coming your way. Beautiful souls. If you're looking for that, you are going to connect with that person. You are definitely, there is a definite spiritual connection that's opening um, there's an opening for you. This, it, it just is an opening. You, this is the entire universe that's opening within your hands. The universe is handing you your heart's desire so that you can create heaven on earth. Um, a few messages. King of water, someone who is very emotional, very loving. Oh my gosh, a definite. I don't need a third card. This is a couple, king of water and queen of water. Definite soulmate relationship coming forth for you if you're looking for one. Gorgeous, gorgeousness. This is a deep spiritual connection. This person is very, very old soul. He has, um, and I'm, when I say he, I mean, uh, it's not gender specific. Um, I refer to the masculine energy as he, and I refer to the feminine energy as she. So it does not relate to uh, gender. Okay, so there is definitely a very strong masculine energy that's full of emotions. Understand that. And the feminine energy has risen through, through her darkness and understands. She's very nurturing. She's very loving. She's very kind. And there is a deep spiritual bond that's coming. There's a rebuilding of the heart. If there's been a past heartaches, past uh, relationships that have not worked out or things that you thought were really good, there's things that are taking place. Yes, there are hostilities, but you, as you speak your truth, this deep spiritual connection is coming to you. Wow. I'm feeling like, wow. <laughs> get some messages from the romance angels i'm gonna get teary eyes because this is such a beautiful message um i love it uh thank you angels for allowing me to be a channel today um dear romance angels can we give some guidance for the collective for what's coming forth in the month of october for true love divine love divine counterpart soulmate love okay let us see what's coming forth Past life relationship, definitely a soulmate relationship. Someone from your past is coming. So this king of water could be someone you've connected with before, or it is someone you've known over lifetimes and lifetimes, and you have known each other before. So definite past life connections coming forth. 
So remember, we pulled this card of uh, release and, and rebuilding of the heart chakra. So there are certain codependent behaviors and addictions of, you know, and I, addiction seems to be a very strong word. Addiction could also be a negative uh, way of thinking. It could be, I'm addicted to fear. So I'll, I'll skip the word addiction that says here, and I'll, I'll tell you what I pick up from whenever I see codependency. It, this to me is also the card of self-worth low self-worth and constant worry she looks so worried will my soul wait will my soulmate come to me will my soulmate or my twin flame say his heart's truth to me or her heart's truth to me will they share how they feel will it ever happen am i worthy of this so that's a certain way of thinking worry remember that card came out right at the beginning of the spiritual there's a reason i started with the spiritual and i'm ending with the um with a love relationship because it, it is from the spiritual realm that everything else can be manifested. Everything else can be manifested. So this is, as that is taken care of, you've known each other, this is coming forth. It is truly coming forth for you to manifest. But remember, these are energies that are coming forth. They can come forth for you. You can know that this is the best thing for you in the life. But are you going to do something about it? Are you going to take any action? So we create our realities. Raise your vibration month in the month of October. One and zero. What are you going to do about it through that infinite possibilities? There's this past connection that's very spiritual, that is blessed, that will make you feel like you're creating heaven on earth. Are you going to do something about it? So if you've been feeling that your love has not been unrequited, understand that there is a new birth there is a opening there is a resurgence of love and a rebirth that's being handed to you by the gods by the divine but the old masks we got the deceit card in there look at all the cards that are coming out somebody has not spoken their truth perhaps the person that you know not just a past life relationship it could be someone in the past they didn't tell you how they truly felt and you felt like your love was unrequited. It is time to remove that mask. It is time to speak your truth. Whoever this is for, unless you speak your truth, you're not, this is here. The angels are saying this is here. This is here for you. Your dreams are manifesting. This is a dream come true. This is what you had put up your prayers. This is what you had wanted. Are you going to do it? Are you going to do it? Are you? I feel one more. I don't know why. Let's get one more message. All right. Retreat. So for some, it may be time when you meet this past life connection. You need to spend some time alone together to kind of get to know each other, to kind of speak your heart's truth on why certain things took place a certain way or why certain things didn't happen a certain way i feel like that's going to help you rebuild the past let go get into the heart space for forgiveness because this is a divine connection i'm really picking up a divine connection here this is a beautiful connection that's coming forth for you so this is um, our, these are actually our messages for our health and our spiritual health, mental health, our career and finances. If I'm to give an overall view of putting it all together, I feel our dreams are manifesting. We are able to create heaven on earth based on our thoughts and realities. The universe is giving us our heart's desire. There is a resurgence in our prosperity, material abundance, and happiness. But it all starts with us. It starts with our connection with the divine. It starts with us speaking our inner truth and living our hearts true. So I send you much blessing, much love. May you be able to create and live this heaven on earth. Much love. This is Arshana with Divine Soul Resonance.